mic. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah these, these drums were manufactured before I joined the Corps. And, uh, Gus Moeller and uh, the Classies made these on, uh, I guess it was Gus Moeller's equipment. And, uh, what was I going to say? Uh, He's that classy. It's a senior moment here. <laughs> uh, yeah, as I say, we had 12 of these, and they were all kept in a closet. I think we had four bass drums similar to this. And uh, you wanted to get down there for an early parade, because we weren't really assigned a drum was first come first serve so you had your favorites <laughs> yeah and you wanted to get there early so you could get your favorite drum but, uh, yeah and then uh, oh this is back I think it was right after my father passed away which had been 1976 uh, I spoke to uh, Pat Koperman and he said he had a couple of these that he might part with. So I talked to my wife at the time and uh, she said, yeah, get it. So I put my order in for it and uh, Dave Body took it, scraped it all down with raised the blade to try to save the, the, the original painting on them. And then he uh, covered it with a new uh, uh, varnish because uh, it's it's going bad again, so it probably has to, should be refinished again. But uh, you know, talking about prices, I think Pat said he'd, he'd give me a good deal on it. I think I finally wound up paying $150 for it, which I thought was a pretty good price at the time. And I think they were going for about five or six hundred. But the last I was just before Pat passed away. And he was saying he had one or two more that you might want to part with, and the price had gone up to twenty five hundred a piece. <laughs> mm. So I'm glad I got it what I did. <laughs> <laughs> so it'll stay in a the drum poor family. Yes. I gave it to Cole, so <laughs> I think good hands. I've seen, I've seen, I've seen uh, those. I've seen Roger that works at Cooperman's. Yeah, I, I believe he's got one. Uh, I mm -hmm. might be wrong. But no, he does. Yeah. He does. Yeah. There was one around. I was telling uh, Cole, but uh, the guy that owned it never did a thing to it, and it looked like it was caught in a sandstorm, <laughs> and it had taken all the finish off. Every bit of finish. It was just down to bare wood. The whole thing. Mm. Really? Hmm. And I don't know, I haven't seen him in a couple of years because I haven't been down in Westbrook. But he used to always show up at Westbrook with it. Hmm. Yeah. So. Hmm. Well, good drum. Thanks for the info, man. Yeah. A lot of knowledge coming out today <laughs> at Putnam Hills Studios. <laughs> Mm-hmm.